Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to continue my winter preparation. It's time for me to put the heat boxes on the hives. Now I know I said last week that I wasn't going to do it for a few more weeks but this morning I woke up and it was 34 degrees so I think that it is time. Now if you're new to the channel and you've never seen my heat boxes or don't know that I heat my beehives, well I heat my beehives. Um, some of you may not like that. These are novelty hives. I'm a, I'm a backyard beekeeper, uh, a hobbyist, and I like to do things a little bit differently and see how the bees like it. Now of course the bees best interest is always in, in, in my heart and I'm trying to be the best beekeeper I can. But with that said, let me explain to you what my heat boxes are. Basically I've got some controllers that sit up in the upper box that will sit on the hives and below that you will have the hives, you will have the screen bottom board, I will have a diffuser board, and then after I put the diffuser board on I will put reptile heating lamps in a box below that is controlled by the top control box and that should allow me to heat the hives to a minimum of 70 degrees. I can actually, I can, I can heat the hives to 150 degrees if I want to, but I heat them to around 70, 75 degrees, sometimes 65 degrees depending on what I feel the bees need, and I let them take care of the rest. My goal is to keep the bees from clustering, keep their resource cons consumption low during the winter time, and, uh, and come out of the winter with strong hives ready to go out and gather the nectar and, and, and bring me a lot of honey. So with all that said, let me get my gear on, and I am going to be wearing full gear today because they're not going to like me tearing their hives completely apart, but it has to be done. So let me get my gear on, I'll get the smoker, let, we'll get started. Today is going to be a glove day, full regalia. Well, not the whole bee suit, I have one of those too. I haven't worn it since I first started. It's just so cumbersome to get on. I've found that jeans protect me, at least good enough. Unless I really make them angry, then they stick to your jeans and they'll go right through them. But as long as you just make them kind of angry, not completely angry, you'll be okay. All right, ladies, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Hey, they are still eating their pollen patty. That is good. There's still some sugar in there. Okay. All right, ladies, I'm going to move you. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, that's, that's a good sign that it's heavy. That means they're they're loaded down with resources. First thing is the heat box. This again is what heats the hives. I'm going to set that down on the bottom. There's the heat box. Now a diffuser board. And this board has a bunch of holes drilled in it. And what this allows is for the heat to come up evenly through the bottom of the hive. So here we go. Okay. Screened bottom board. I'm going to replace this with a guardian that I can choke off. There we go. Pull this out. Don't need it anymore. Oh, goodness. Right. Oh, we set our hive right there. This is the box that controls the temperature. We've got a controller on both sides. One is for the uh, air in the summertime, and one is for the, uh, the heat in the wintertime. We're going to put that on the hive. They're welcome to propolize that. Now we're going to give them a hive pillow. This will control any moisture from anything they want to evaporate. All right, one down. And these girls are in very good shape with their resources. They are full. It'll be orange hive. So now we're going to do this again. I'll let you have a better look. Take this off. Go ahead and lift this. Okay, they're done with their syrup. Oh, there's some hive beetles on the bottom. Go ahead and address those. I love hive beetle decimation. Okay, great. Oh, there is a yellow jacket down in that hive. Feeding on the pollen patty. Oh, and now he's stuck inside the hive. All right, well, we'll take it out. So these girls are doing with food. Oh, they're heavy. Okay. 
Look at all these yellow jackets down here. Look at the bees trying to eat some spilled sugar syrup. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the heat box on. Now, this heat box is a little bit different. This heat box has a lip on it because I've got to cover up this, the Flow Hive landing board. Okay, now we're going to put our diffuser on there. And again, the purpose of this is to make sure that the heat is distributed evenly throughout the hive. Now we'll put the bottom board on there. Then we will put the hive on there. You see now, the hot air can come up through the bottom of the hive, right through the screen bottom board. Give these girls a guardian as well. We will set these girls back on their hive. New entrance in place. Big old hornet down there. Oh, and it just took a bee. Look at that hornet. It's going after bees. Not good. Alright. Alright, so now we're going to give these girls a control box. Give them a hive pillow. we go. These girls are now ready for winter. All right, Sage Hive, let's see what you got in here. Here we go. Coming in, bringing you a present that will be out. I still have a lot of sugar syrup in here. I'm going to give this back to them. Go for a ride. Oh, you're heavy. You don't need any more food anyways. Here's the heat box. Okay, out, out. You're gonna spend the whole winter in there. All right, now, we'll put the hives back on there. Oh goodness, a thousand pounds. Wow. Ugh. Here you go. Here's your lid. They're all heated except for Army and Navy back there. Army and Navy are, they're going to have to rough it, but hey, Army and Navy are strong, right? They're going to make it. All right, there you go. All I've got left to do is seal the control box to the hives with some of this uh, painter's tape, and we should be good to go. I just don't want any air leaking in between these two boxes because that may affect the temperature sensors that live in the bottom of this box. The rest of the hive is already sealed up with the girls' propolis, and it'll be okay. Uh, after I do that, we will come out tonight or maybe tomorrow morning and see what the temperature is inside these boxes. I've got all the boxes set to 70 degrees. I may lower that to 65. I don't want to give them too much too quick, but we will, uh, we will have a look at that in the morning when it's nice and cold outside and see how these boxes did. All right, well, we made it to the next morning. All the girls have been in heated hives all night long. It's 6.42 a.m. and it's 34 degrees right now. So let's take a look at the back of these hives and see how the, uh, how the heaters held up. Remember, I set these boxes all to 70 degrees last night. All right, well, we are gonna start with the red hive and work our way forward. The red hive right now is at uh, 72.3 degrees and holding. Its neighbor, looking at 70.1 degrees and holding. Holy moly, this one's at 77.8 and heating. Something is wrong here. What's going on here? Did I not calibrate this box? Oh, I set it to 80 degrees. I don't want to do that. Set that to 70. There we go. Temperature should come down now. Right. Well, they were toasty last night. Okay, 74.1 on the white hive. This hive here is at 68.7, and it's heating right now, but this hive, remember, this hive's got an extra box on it. This is an empty cavity filled with sugar syrup. These girls are being fed. Down here we're at 67.7 on Juno. 
68.8 on the purple hive. 70.1 on the pink hive and 73.3 on sage. Now unfortunately, Army and Navy back here, they're cold. They didn't get heaters. Let's look at the front of the hives. Make sure there's no unusual activity out here. Especially on the, uh, on the green hive that was heating to uh, 80 degrees. Okay, they've all got their entrance reducers in them. So there's only a hole that two bees can get out of and in because uh, we saw all the robbing yesterday with the hornets and the yellow jackets everywhere. All right, no unusual activity on the front, no bearing. Nobody's trying to, trying to escape. We have a couple of girls right there. Well, they, they were the dead. They brought the dead out there. Nobody's up and at them yet. Oh, that tape is coming off. Let's uh, retape that. This painter's tape is uh, the kind that does not leave an edge when you paint, and therefore it's not very sticky. I'm going to have to get some uh, plain old masking tape and redo this. Now the purpose of the tape, of course, is to uh, seal the boxes between these two until the girls have a chance to seal them. Okay. Nothing crazy going on. All the girls look snug as a bug in the rug. Of course, snug as a bug in their box. I think we're in good shape. All right, well, there you go. It's going to be a great day. The sun is going to rise today. The, the temperature is going to go up. But uh, fall is hitting Georgia hard. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell to be notified. I drop a video every Friday. I try to keep it light and have fun here. With all that said, have a great day. Be happy. And I will see you next time. Take care.